Spooks, I'm recording for Explosive Reviews, and today I'm going to be recording Stoked. And Stoked was a game for the Xbox 360 only, uh, made by Bongfish. Um, no, I haven't heard of them either. Um, it's a snowboarding game, you've probably been able to tell that, and it was released in 2009. It has real riders and um, real companies, which which is good. You know, I like I like that. I like realistic things in games. That's probably the only thing I like about this game. Um, well, it's horrible in many respects. I I can't grip the horribleness. Of this game, it has real, it has real snowboarders. Yeah, that's cool. They do the voice acting. Okay, let's see where this goes. As far as I know, the guy called Wally here sounds about as flat as a can of coke that's been left out in the sun for five days or something. It's depressing. At the start, you agreed to some piss easy, piss easy tutorials, which then devolve into whole what hard. It, they're, they're the basic tutorials, and I, I couldn't get through them for about. Like, I actually I couldn't get through them for a month. It is literally one of the hardest tutorials I've ever had to muster. The game graphics wise is okay, especially for its age, but and then again graphics don't make a game. If they did, this game would be okay. I don't know what bongfish were doing. Maybe they were using the bong of which they are named after. Because you would have to be high to make a game like this. I expect snowboarding games to be fun not ridiculously hard I mean there's literally this part where you have to do a front side board slide you have to do the exact same thing if you do a backside nope you 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 failed just go do it again and don't get me started on the style system you can be stylish rider or a hooker rider and it affects your score and stuff. Hooker riding, yeah it's called hooker riding. It's called hooker riding um, <laughs> and it's so difficult. <laughs> I mean I don't mind a difficult game. I like a game that you can play without months and months of trial and error. You, you don't do that. Now, the game has... I have the press copy of the game, the promotional copy. I don't know if this is any different than the main game, but it seems totally fine and, like, full. I'm guessing because it's a press release it must be full. Um, It's well. It's bro. It's not broken in any ways. It's a solid game, but it's horrible. It's hard and overall just not enjoyable. If I had to review this game, well, if I am reviewing, I am reviewing this game at the moment. So, if I am reviewing this game, I am. Um, I would give it. Minus 5 being the lowest and plus 5 being the worst. A minus 3. The reason I've done the minus 3 is because the game actually has decent graphics and I suppose a decent customization thing. That isn't even that good, but um, rather than playing this, you should just go and get something like SSX, one of the SSX games, or maybe even Sean White Snowboarding if you actually, you know, feel like that. I have been Spooks, recording for Explosive Gaming.
thank you all for watching and good night